Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to show you how to create a Kenban's effect on Elementor sections using the premium add-ons for Elementor. We are going to create a page and we'll add those Kenban effects to any of the sections just like this over here. See that? And then later on we add something like that. And then later on I'll show you how to add something like this or a Kenban's effect like this one below. So now let's get started. The first thing you're going to do of course you should have the premium add-ons for Elementor. In this case I'm using the premium add-ons for Elementor the pro version which is an add-on on the free version and the Kenban's effect is only available in the pro version of the premium add-ons for Elementor and it gives you a lot more customizations that you can do and achieve more on your designs in Elementor. Once you already have your pro add-on for your premium add-ons, then you can simply just come over right here to the premium add-ons, come to the pro settings, and make sure that the Ken Burns effect under the section elements is enabled. So it should be in blue. Simply save changes. And in case you don't want to use any of the other widgets from the premium add-ons, you can simply deactivate them just like I have done over here. Now what you're going to do is simply go to pages, and you either create a new page or you simply just open up your existing page where you want to add your Kenban's effect. So in this case, I'm simply going to create a new page, open up this page with Elementor, and then I'm going to add a new section, a white section. I'm going to make it full width. I'm going to add a no gap, so under the columns gap. So I'll just give it a minimum height of 430 pixels. I'm going to select the same section, come to style, I'm going to give it a background image which is our saucepan over right here and I'm going to make sure that this saucepan is positioned center center and I am actually going to make it to be fixed the size will be contained something like that then next what I'm going to do is come over here to the background overlay and I'm going to give this background overlay to be a lighter color, something like green. Let me see what we gave on our first section. And then I can simply just walk around with the opacity, something of that sort. Now next what we are going to do is simply add a title and a button to this section. So I'm going to first of all add another column, but it will stay an empty column, taking over like 80%. I'm going to come over here to the widgets, just grab my heading and I will say let's cook. I just simply style up my title by simply just giving it Montezora and the EM is 7.5 and the line height is 0 0.8 and the letter spacing is negative 1. Then I can also add a button just below here by simply grabbing a button. So da -da -da, button just add it down below. I'll just come over here, copy the style of the button, come over here to our button and then we'll paste that style. So we don't have to redo the same thing again. And right here I'll just test that your project. The reason why these uh, wordings in the button are full caps is that under the style typography we chose that the transform will be uppercase so when we change it to capitalize it will change automatically i'll leave it in uppercase the next thing we are going to do is to create another section and that's where we are going to have our kenban's effect i'm going to simply duplicate this section or our first section i'm going to delete the title i'm going to basically change now the background overlay to another color so here we used a green I'm going to come over here and I switch to a green as our background overlay with a lower opacity then what I'm going to do is simply select the section come to the layout simply scroll down and there is an option called the Kenban's effect so these options are all provided by the premium add-ons for Elementor the pro version so I'm simply going to open it up enable the effect add the items and these items are basically images that you can add to that specific section. You can add as many items as you want. So in this case, I'm going to start by the first item. And when you look over here on our section, we added the spices and the tomatoes. So what I'm going to do is simply just come back over here. Of course, we have to first enable that 
clean burns effect on that section and we're going to come over here to the first item and then we're going to select an image so in this case we are going to first add the spices so these are going to be our spices or the vegetables in our meal and we're going to make sure that this image is to contain and we're going to set it to be center center and then we're going to add another image because when you look on our final product you see that we have two images one for the spice and then the other for the tomatoes the same we have to do over here i'm going to add another item and this item is going to be for our spices something like that we insert the image and we're going to make sure that it is contained and we're going to make the image position to be top left that's all then what we're going to do here is to set up our animation or the can bands how it's going to work like in our section so we want it to have the scale of two seconds and it should have a vertical scale so we want it to be having a vertical scale and the effect speed to be only two seconds so what i'm going to do is simply update and then we look into our section see how that flows good looks nice next now we are going to create our other section and that is this section with a fish which is just like this so i'm simply just going to come over here to our editor duplicate our other section and reason why i duplicate is because i don't want to repeat many other things like the stylings so i simply just select that I'm going to come over here to the style and we are going to come to the background overlay and we'll choose another color. In this case we use something like a blue and here I'm going to choose something similar to that and there I'm done. Then I'm going to come back to the section layout and I'll scroll down here to the Kenban's effect and we're simply going to add one image which is for our fish. So we scroll down here, we pick up our fish. So after adding our image which is for the fish then what I'm going to simply do is make sure that it is contained and then it is center center and then right down here we are going to make sure that the effect is scroll vertical and then we are going to add the scale speed to be 4 and the effect speed to be 4 so we are going to update and then we'll have to look into our preview and there we go with our image so let's try the infinite option so the infinite option you see now it's going to make sure that our image is running continuously the Ken Burns effect on it just like you see over right here. Now the next section we are going to add our image just like this. So what I'm going to do is simply come back here to our editor and I'm going to duplicate this section and I'm going to simply add a style background overlay and just something very simple and then we are going to come back here to the layout and under the layout we come back to our Kenbans and we are going to simply add one image and that image is going to be for our plates over here then we insert and uh, we make sure that it is contained it will be center center and we are going to make it to have a, a horizontal scroll and basically leave it at the same speed and everything so we update now let's look at the preview so I scroll down and boom you see there we are then we can also adjust on our section height to look a little bit not congested so I will come back over here to the section I'm going to go to the layout and I'm going to make this 500 something of that sort next section also like 500 under layout 500 the same for the other so you can also preview how these sections are going to look like for example this is on a tablet and uh, this is on a mobile and you can adjust each section based on how you want for example you can make changes to the button and the image positioning and everything so i simply now just head back over here update and then i'm going to look into what our preview looks like at the moment okay looks neat let's cook you start your project when you start cook you add some uh, ground peppers and tomatoes into your saucepan and then you add your fish or whatever you're going to cook and then later on you'll add some more spices or basically serve your meal in the case whereby you want to make changes to this button simply just come over here and uh, 
make changes to your buttons for example select the button and say add ingredients the same for the other or your dish or whatever you want and then you are good to go simply update and congrats on creating your first can bands effect which is only applied to the sections using the premium add-ons for elementor thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give it a like and if you're new to the channel please subscribe have a good time and goodbye